Are you guys ready for the most amazing art studio tour? Because I have been looking all over for really good solutions for my art studio and I recently came up with this design. So I'm gonna walk you through it and show you why I chose what I did and how functional this crazy studio is now. I'm so excited. So as you walk into my studio, I actually have this amazing black desk and it's a standing desk. Uh, it doesn't raise and lower because I just like it to put this big screen TV on. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to be able to watch YouTube videos and, um, you know, whatever it was that I needed to review right there on this great big screen. So this really helped. My husky is already wanting to say hi. Say hi, Sky. Hi. Hi, everybody. She get in the chair. Okay, so this is a projector right here. And the reason why this is great, come on, you can sit on the chair, come on, is because it projects over there. So sometimes I will have a drawing and maybe the drawing will be something that I really wanna paint, but I don't wanna redraw it. So having a projector, being able to just be set up all the time on an easel like this great easel here, um, just makes it so, so handy for me. Another thing that I also really wanted was to use this extra desk, which actually one of my um, one of my people on Facebook I saw has this desk. It's a glass, really beautiful desk, and I love it. Hi, Sky. Hi, honey. And the thing that I love about this this is a light box, but this entire desk actually becomes a light box. All you have to do is just put a light underneath it. And if you do like to trace like designs and you have trouble um, reproducing certain drawings, then you can make, you can just pull this out and make it a huge big light box. Not only that, but it also does raise up. So I'm not gonna raise it here cause I'll knock this off. So I just have it tucked under and I was really, really careful to measure everything so that it would just easily hide underneath this amazing stand. You see how cool that is? So I not only have the luxury of having a YouTube television or you know whatever I need to watch on it, but I've got this uh, really beautiful drafting table that's glass that works as a, you know, like for so many functions. It's on wheels, it slides away, and if I want something bigger to work on, I can use that. So that's really easy. Then I also have this, which is the um, standard easel. I love it. It's so cool because it's so adjustable in so many ways, right? So you can like make it for full length paintings. You can even flip it over as a table. There's just a lot you can do with it. And then I got this, um, I've had this for a while. It's a smaller easel and it actually has this really cool drawer so that you can, keep paints and stuff or brushes or whatever you want in it. And it holds a pretty decent size painting. You know what I mean? It's a really nice little portable easel. Then I got a set of drawers. This holds all my acrylic paints. So I just kind of arrange them. I won't go through everything, but I have tons and tons of acrylic paints and uh, like heavy body acrylics in there. And then some watercolor supplies in the bottom. Another thing I needed was tons of storage. So I went for this. Now this table, you cannot buy in one piece. You actually have to get this in separate pieces because they just don't have one. What you're looking at here is actually a thinner three tier shelf that I bought on Amazon and I will link everything for you below. Then I purchased shelves and I put these shelves on to extend it. So you can see this is the color of the shelf. This is the extension shelf. And that holds all of these really pretty boxes in which I have um, labeled them. So extra watercolor palettes, extra watercolors, the meat and uh, little drawer. This thing is so cute, I love it. It like, it holds so many things and slides open and holds brushes, keeps them away from the dogs. Um, this is from, this is the wood box set from Inktense. There's a uh, paper cutter, the bo you know, extra boxes that came, my Epson printer, which I love, this prints, really great prints. So I have all that storage now, which is so essential, you know, for your art supplies. So think about it, I have this storage here, 
and I have this storage here, and so far you've seen two amazing workspaces, right? Like you could work on this if you wanted to. I have a full easel here, or drafting table, which also doubles as a light stand, or a light box. I have this smaller easel here, and then this really big easel here, lots of door storage. Then this whole top is for making videos, and dealing with computer stuff and you know all of my my work stuff so this is where I work every day then over here oh also have to have a swivel great because then wherever I am in the studio I can swivel it around um, oh yeah this is good too I got these to hide cords so I found this solution which I really love it is these little tiny clips but they're so flexible and they just stick to things so I got white and black they come in a two-piece set like this and that way if I want to use them over here I've got black ones and white ones for the other side of the studio those are gonna be really helpful for all these cords this is a really adorable stand they come two in a pack it is so affordable and what a great way to just give yourself more space. I find that when I put things on them, it just, it frees up so much space on my countertop and it just feels so much different. I actually think it feels really professional, you know, and just looks cleaner. I put the other one under here and I just got a smaller shelf at like Home Depot or Lowe's and I use that now to hold one of my larger paint sets. This is the Schmincke paint set. Beautiful, right? Okay, so moving over here, this is a set of drawers that they sell on Amazon. A lot of you guys have seen this because I usually bring them out and you'll see me just kind of playing with the paints right from here. I love this because <laughs> it just slides right back in and this holds so much paint and just supplies. You can see you can keep sponges, you can keep all kinds of stuff in here. So that's where I keep my immediate paints that are in my palettes so that I can, I have no extras in here, just the ones that I'm working with right now and wanna grab at hand. And that really holds everything, that one unit. You can get two of them, you can stack them, and they come in different colors too. This is a really great piece. As you can see, I still have to do my cords. This is a little box I got that holds really, really long, big brushes. So uh, sometimes you see me, I have the brushes in there and I have paint in the bottom and I'm actually using that for, I haven't done these wires yet, so just don't mind them. We're gonna do those in just a second when I open everything. But this is a really handy thing to take with you. And uh, I think it comes with a strap, but you know, it's just really, really handy to have for smaller, like uh, travel and watercolor stuff. This is the Roman Schmal wood box set. I love that. So it always has a place on my desk. Here I have my custom palette that I created with all of the watercolors. And you can see I have some ceramic plates, just kind of keeping the dust off of them so that I can use the ceramics whenever I want to. This is a ceramic plate that I love. It's actually really handy because you can do really big washes of color in this one. And then of course the Schmincke set that I got for my birthday. There's some of the custom palettes that I filled up for my birthday. Like this is the extra Roman Schmal paints. This is the um, little Shemika wood box set that I have. I have some water, lots and lots of water. I actually keep a lot of these. I usually fill them all up for the day and then that way throughout the day, I don't have to constantly go for more. This is a really, really cute little thing I got um, also on Amazon and this holds your brushes. So when you're working, you actually can have uh, this holding your brushes. They're a lot bigger than you think. Like, I remember when I was buying this, I was like, how big is this thing? Is it gonna really hold all the brushes? Is it professional enough? Surprisingly, the, when I got the first one, it was not big, but I found a uh, link for this in two or three different colors, and they're huge. And I really, really love the design. It's really stable and sturdy, and it doesn't flip over, which I think is a big deal, you know? 
This is my main work surface for watercolor and I keep a glass top on top of the table. Um, this is the thing that I need to tell you about. So a lot of you guys get Ikea tables and Ikea tables are amazing. I've had this one for a while, but it chips. So I needed to find a solution. One, I wanted something longer for there and I wanted an option maybe that would last a little bit longer. So I found this waterproof table from Amazon and it's got uh, legs. So literally you can use the legs if you want, but I wanted it on the, like a higher table. So I just went ahead and tucked the legs underneath. They're on like springs and it's super sturdy and super nice. It is so way nicer than the typical Ikea tables that do scratch and chip as you can see which kind of drives me crazy, but I've had this one for a long time, so I have it on this stand here, uh, so I have all this storage. But when I do go to replace it, I'm definitely replacing it with one of these new tables, because these are always sold out. They do have a longer version, though, at Ikea that you could get to go, like, so that you have um, tables going all the way across. But again, this is way better. It's so heavy and so nice. You know, you would have it forever. So anyway, uh, with watercolor, I like to wet both sides of my paper. If I'm not using a block, this really is helpful. And I find that the glass is way easier to clean and maintain because that some watercolors really stain this and it's harder to get off. So I tend to glass top the, um, the things and then I just put these like little stickers on them so that they don't slide. So that's a good solution for that. What else do I have? Oh yeah, so this is just a, a boom arm to hold the camera. And then I have a wire running here all the way around to the computer so that I can use the camera. This is a light stand, which is amazing because it casts like so much light. And then I have this little light that I got that I love, it's so cute because it's got like the little things, but the best thing is it has different shades. So you can see, you can do computer so that it doesn't hurt your eyes for reading, for writing, and then this little thing just turns on and off. And I just love the fact that I can change the tone of it. It's really, really nice and bright. And it even has like a little pencil holder. So, and a USB, it's pretty cool. This is a stand that you probably have seen in most makeup stores. This holds the brushes great. I love these. I actually have a big one too, but right now I just have the immediate brushes out. And as a solution for storage, I found this. This just came in today, so I was waiting for this final piece before I could do this tour. And it is a two-tier stand from Amazon and it's got these hooks on it, and it also has these really, really cool little like pencil holders. So I have extra brushes in it, I have my pens, and then I have plenty of room to put like just added things that I need on hand typically. You know what I mean? These are all of my little travel palettes that I, you guys have been seeing me review as I put them together. So they all fit right in there. And then the rest of them are in, I don't know, one of these boxes, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch in here. So these boxes hold so much and they've got little magnets on them. I have extra, um, if you just put some pagers tape, you can put all of your extra paints in there so I've got like things that I'm not using right away so great for storage the bigger ones actually store paper really well I have a um, little garbage pail and then this chair I love I got it at Ikea this one I got on Amazon which is the fender stool and did I miss anything I don't know I don't think I did I have like a little charging stand for my phone um, and then these really, really nice power chargers that I have around the studio uh, for everything to just kind of be in and connected. Then I just did some art. Now the art on the walls, um, of course I made all the art, but these frames are gonna stay where they are. Once they're in place, 
whatever I'm working on currently that I want to have in front of me as I'm doing more or developing a certain style, uh, like say I'm doing a lot of urban painting, then I just take out whatever I'm not doing at that moment and I put in my favorite paintings that will influence me at that time. I also put some more up here and I intend on putting a few more on the wall too because I find that whatever I have around me is typically what influences me the most. So that's the idea behind the paintings on the wall. All right, so I am completely out of breath. Um, this is like a little table that is just another shelf that I've attached to this so that I have a little more room so that I'm not taking up any of my watercolor room for like my iPad for reference and things like that. So in any case, that's it guys. Microphone, I think I covered it all, right? The big thing was that I wanted to stand up and be taller. Um, I found that this arrangement didn't really work out when it was lower. So I went through a lot of different things by having this desk be a standing like a bar top desk then I'm able to slide the other table underneath. Hi, Misty. Oh, we're getting a visit from both the Huskies. Hi, Mist. What's up, Misty? Misty girl. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> um, so you might want to consider whether you want to be taller and you know have more standing and sitting time or just be bent over a lower desk because I found that being bent over a lower desk was not fun. This um, is actually a stand from Ikea and it's on wheels. That's another thing. Notice that everything I have that needs to move is on wheels, including uh, this one's on wheels, those are on wheels. The only thing that didn't need to be on wheels was this because that probably wouldn't be good on wheels. <laughs> but you could even get like a cart, um, an art cart, and find a way, because this has, this has a rail. So because it's got a rail, it fits so nicely um, under here and it doesn't shift. So if you measure properly, you see what I mean? I have it perfectly centered so it cannot go in either direction. So if you're really, really good about it, you could, find a way to um, maybe do a cart or something if you didn't have shelves, but these shelves are not very expensive. And then of course, you know, these carts are available on Amazon as well. They are really, really handy, but I keep them with the boxes in them because I have dogs and my dogs love to steal art supplies. Okay, so I don't think I missed anything. If you have any questions about anything else that you see in here or, um, you're struggling yourself. I know this is a super big struggle, guys. It's so hard to come up with a really great arrangement that's so functional, but that looks good too. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's really clean. It's so functional. I have so much workspace. I can literally put something on any of these surfaces and leave it, walk away, start another project. So I'm not stuck with just one surface. I have plenty of space in here. It feels really spacious and I am extraordinarily inspired by it. I love it. Plus I also get to do my, um, you know, all of my work here. So it's nice to be in the studio, you know, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm doing art projects or music projects, I am here at my desk. Okay. So you guys have a lovely day. Thanks for doing the studio tour with me. I hope this helped you out and gave you some ideas because I did notice that there are no good ideas out there for studios. It's so hard to figure out how to divide a space and come up with something that is really multifunctional, clean, and uh, just you know has tons and tons of storage where you have things on hand. This was a big deal. This having all these things on hand was huge because especially when you're making videos and you're doing art classes and all kinds of stuff like I am it's just a pain to like try and think about everything you need out and you know as a result I still want to protect it from the animals but you know be able to have a very very functioning studio okay guys so have a great day I think I already said that I probably said goodbye like 50 million times I am going to go and work on a project now and I will see you guys later Happy painting, everyone.